Okay, for real, some of my very best memories of summer when I was a kid are from camp. Day camp and overnight camp. And if this is the year you would like your kids to experience this, there are so many different ones now for every interest, every kind of child. Well, Annika Martin from Two Rivers YMCA is here to tell us about the day camps uh, for uh, for the Moline Y and beyond. And, and Nick Martinez is here today from the uh, from Camp Abe Lincoln and and beyond. How are you guys? You ready for ready for summer? Felt we're like it yesterday. We are ready. I know, right? <laughs> um, Annika, let's start with you. So you represent, uh, what are your locations for your Ys? Uh, the Two Rivers YMCA is on the Illinois side of the Quad Cities. Um, and we are so excited. We are so ready to have kids uh, out there and playing. And we got a little taste of it with the spring breakers that were coming visiting us the last few weeks. Um, it's so great to see them laughing and playing and smiling. And we just can't wait for summertime for isn't them that, to be around. Isn't that so fun? And Nick, I'm, I'm going to get with you here because uh, Camp A. Blank has been your baby for, I don't know, how, many long, how long have you been uh, with them? 13 years now. 13, yeah. yeah. Um, so you've got other kind of camps too. If it, um, Camp A. Blank is an overnight camp. Yep. Uh, so we've got our day camps and our overnight camps, Camp Abe Lincoln being the overnight, and then uh, various sites uh, throughout Davenport and Bettendorf uh, for our day camps. And, you know, so yes, we have the, the uh, Camp Abe Lincoln, which is literally like 100 years old, yeah. right? Yeah, we're kind of 98, we're, so we're getting there Isn't close. That, oh, you could have a big centennial yeah. in, a, in a couple of years. <laughs> um, is it, is it, are we back to normal this year for the summer of 22 compared to the COVID years, or what do you think? Yeah, yeah, so for the most part, uh, back to normalcy, if you will. Obviously, uh, some guidelines that we're still putting into place uh, to keep people safe, uh, but still enjoyable uh, throughout uh, the, the camp experience. Anna, okay, do you help out with uh, with the kids as well, uh, help facilitate some of these programs? No, I don't get the hands-on experience, but we do get to see them uh, when they're at the Y. Uh, it's enjoyable for everyone that works the facility. Uh, I mean, just all around uh, to get to see their smiling faces. But you know, you're so right. And what do you find it does for those kids? Uh, well, it's great for the parents and the kids alike. Um, I mean, it's great for the parents to know that there's somewhere safe for their kid to be while they're while they're working throughout the day, but it's great for the kids too because we have all kinds of wellness and STEM activities wrapped up into our daily curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, it's really an enriching experience for them, uh, but they also get the fun because, you know, at the Y we have field trips and we have the fun swims where they get to go to the pools. So, I mean, it's just a really great experience. And, and if you're wor worried about the expense, I mean, there, there are different levels of this. I mean, you, can, you mentioned the day camps, just being able to go for a swim. I mean, it doesn't always have to be the whole overnight experience for a week or two or beyond. Um, what's, the, what's kind of the smallest class they could get into, Annika? Um, some kind of a program or something that's different for kids? Oh, we have everything across the board. Uh, I mean, during the summer, there's sports clinics uh, that are a shorter term, not like a full session, uh, but, you know, a smaller experience that would introduce them to a sport and teach mm -hmm. them the basics. Mm -hmm. um, everything to, you know, longer terms at camp. Nick, what do you, when you see uh, kids coming to camp for the first time, What's your favorite part of, of watching what happens in their in their little lives, their little minds? Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, my favorite is uh, the kids who who aren't used to being outdoors or uh, maybe have parents who are like, don't get dirty, don't do that, don't do this. And then all of a sudden they're at camp uh, and then they're like, well, what do we get to do? It's like, well, we're going to go walk in the creek and get dirty. And they're like, oh, what? Yeah. Or, you know, the discovery of like uh, a caterpillar on a branch and they're like, Look at this thing, it's moving. <laughs> um, but just being kids themselves uh, and just being able to run and jump without anybody saying, you can't do that. Uh, wow. More of like, hey, if we're gonna do this, we gotta do it this way to be safe. But yes, you can pick up the dirt, you can play with the bugs, you can roll in the grass and get dirty. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the fun part, that's the exciting thing that we see. And then at the end of the day, when especially the first timers, they've had so much fun, so much excitement that they're falling asleep as they get on the bus and they're just zonk for you the You know what, next day. I do remember that, the exhaustion yep. of, of the just physical fun, yep. just ev everything that you've done. Um, because I think kids sometimes are not as active now, yeah, yeah. right? Because of, you know, you know, indoor, you know, on their devices. Um, so Anika, when does your stuff kick off? Is it literally May or June? Yep, June, when schools are out, we're ready to go. Okay. You too? Yep. Yeah. So we have many uh, YMCAs on, on both sides of the river. Mm -hmm. So uh, depending on where you live or work, you can pick either or? Yeah, I'd say between uh, all of our Ys, we serve the whole Quad Cities. Uh, so whatever's most convenient for families would be the place to go. Mm -hmm. 
Do you, you agree with that, Nick? Uh, because 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, because really, there, there's wherever you live, there's got to be a Y near you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think that's safe to say, right? Yep. And uh, so there's the information for Two Rivers, and then we also had Nick's information up. It, it's kind of split between Iowa and Illinois, but you could go to either. It doesn't matter where you live. Mm -hmm. You can go to any uh, on either side of the river. So good seeing you both. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for what you good provide for families and children. Yeah, Thank definitely. You. It's a thanks great time.